Hi Life Kids, I just want to say a very warm welcome to everybody who's joining us here on YouTube and it's great that you can be a part of this session today. We're going to be looking at our series, His Footsteps, and Jesus calls us to follow him daily and we're going to be looking about at that and what does that actually mean for our lives and we're going to start off today with a really fun game. In that time again and it is game time and I know how much you absolutely enjoy playing games. So today we've got another guessing game and as we are still looking at the wonderful footsteps of Jesus, we're going to be looking at some shoes and trying to see if we can guess who fits these shoes? So first of all, here is the first picture. Can you guess who might wear these shoes? That's it, have a discussion at home and see what you think. So the first one is who do you think will wear these shoes? Right, we're gonna move swiftly through. Here comes the next one, da da da, here it is. Who do you think would wear some boots like this. Hmm. Do you recognise them? Do you know? All right, we're going to have another go now. Here comes the third one. And who would wear shoes like this? What would they use them for? Who would wear shoes like this? Oh, you're doing really, really well. I've got two more for you. So here comes the next one. And here's the next one. Who would wear some shoes like these? Mm. Who would wear some shoes like these? And then last but no means least, who would wear footwear like this? Who would wear footwear like that? Hmm. I don't know if I'm sure. Right, here we go then. Let's see how good you were at guessing. So the first one was safety boots. So somebody might use those uh, to protect their feet. So it could be a builder or somebody working in a factory. Then the second one was, that's right, fireman boots. So they have to have special protective boots, don't they? For their job going in and out of fires where it's very, very hot. Then the next picture were running shoes and they need really good shoes to support their ankles and their knees so when they're running it protects them doesn't it and it helps them to go faster if they've got the right footwear. Then these white ones they're not very cool are they but they've got a non-slip surface so you might find somebody wearing those if they're a dentist or perhaps a surgeon or somebody in a hospital. And then finally, did you get this one? That's right, these are clown boots. Yeah, I just put that one in there for a bit of fun. So well done uh, with uh, playing this game today. Superb everyone. Hi Life Kids, hope you're all okay and well. Um, before we start the session, I was wondering if we could pray. So if you could put your hands together like this and close your eyes, that'd be amazing. Heavenly Father, I thank you for Live Kids and the people watching this video today. And I pray that we all have a really blessed day. In your mighty name, I pray this. Amen. Thank you, guys. Now, today we're going to be looking at what is a great role model. And you might be thinking, Abby, I don't know what a role model is. Well, a role model is a person you look up to or someone who you might want to be like who does something good. Today, for example, is Father's Day. Your dad might be one of your role models. Some role models in my life are people like Jesus, my mum and my dad, and my friends. And what I like to do is sometimes I look at the characteristics and the qualities of those people and see if it's something that I can do to be a better person. For example, Jesus, he was and is, he's kind, he's loving and he's forgiving and he is a good friend. 
Or you might have a role model like Simone Biles, who's an incredible Olympic gymnast. And she is strong, she's determined, she's kind and she follows her dreams. Now, these are all things that I would like to be more like. So what I can do is I can see what these people do. So, for example, um, how Jesus, he uses and practices um, these qualities and see how I can use this in my own life to become a better person. Now, having a great role, role model, um, someone you can look up to in your life can be an amazing thing. They can help you to become a better person or teach you incredible things. However, we need to be careful because although everyone has amazing qualities, some people have some not so good qualities, like maybe being mean or lying to people. So we need to be careful that we don't follow after their example, but instead we do good things and follow the example of people who do good. So can you think of any role, role models in your life for example, it could be your mum or your dad, some of your siblings, your friends at school. Can you think of what it is that you love most about that person? Is it that they're strong, that they're courageous, that they're kind and loving? Can you think of three different people in your life who you might consider a role model? It can be anyone. I'll let you guys think on that one. Jesus is friend, kind, giving, caring, forgiving, patient, gentle, honest, compassionate, loving, good, obedient and prayerful. We're going to be reading from our Bibles now. So we'll be reading this week from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 21 to 24. Now, if you have your Bibles with you, that's great. You can read along. But if not, that's OK. You can just listen. So it says, it was to this that God called you. For Christ himself suffered for you and left you as an example so that you would follow in his steps. He committed no sin and no one ever heard a lie come from his lips. When he was insulted, he did not answer back with an insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but placed his hopes in God, the righteous judge. Christ himself carried our sins in his body to the cross so that we might die and live for righteousness. It is by his wounds that we are healed. And let's finish off today with our prayer. One, two, three. Father God, I wanna thank you that you've called us to follow you daily. I wanna thank you that you are loving and you are great and that you are our hero, our true role model. I just ask that we can learn more about you and learn to walk in your footsteps. In your precious name we pray and we all go, Amen. So it's been an absolutely brilliant morning this morning and we want to thank Abigail for her wonderful talk today. And that just leaves me to say, have a great week, Life Kids, and remember to tune in next week for Zoom. See you later. Bye.